I'm Ian Wright, and this is my story of how I tried to climb the highest mountain in the Arctic. An amazing challenge that tested me both physically and mentally. Never in my life have I doubted my inner strength more than on this journey. Mother Nature, you are one bitch! Welcome to my excellent adventure. But since retiring from football, life has been really good. But at the end of the day, nothing is like scoring that winning goal. And I'll tell you that when you've been there, when you've done that, there is no other feeling like it. Dramatically, as he scores the goals. So at 41, I'm ready for a new challenge. I'm going to try and climb the highest mountain in the Arctic. 4,000 meters above sea level and sheer ice all the way up. It's going to be tough because I really hate the cold. I take off from Heathrow, fly via Iceland and find myself 2,000 kilometers from Croydon inside the Arctic Circle. With me on this expedition is my best mate, Novella Nodes. I call her Mrs. C. The biggest thing we have in common is that we both love to win. Our mentor and guide for the expedition is Nigel, a veteran of the Himalayas and the Arctic Circle. We touch down in the middle of nowhere, a tiny Inuit village on the east coast of Greenland. They're lucky if they get one visitor a year from the outside world. And now, they've got me. Osman! Osman! How do they know about Arsenal down here? How you doing? Hey. I spend a week learning the basics of survival, to ski, navigate and live in extreme isolation. The way of life out here is extraordinary. It's 11.30 in the night. Can't you, believe it. It's just like, like as if it is midday or something. And to say thank you to everyone here, I join them and we play the beautiful game. We load everything onto a tiny ski plane and head 350 kilometers from civilization to the home of Gombionsfeld, the highest summit up here. Out here it's the Arctic desert. 24 hour sunlight, blistering heat in the daytime, minus 20 at night. The plane has dropped us off at a safe location, 40 kilometers from the mountain in the next valley. Just remember that we are a long way away from civilization. So think twice before you do anything. Yeah, it's it looks really pretty out here, but you know, it can it can jump up and bite you if you're not careful. The only way to get to the mountain is to pull our equipment on sledges called polks. Each one weighs around 100 kilos. Nigel, which is the easiest way to pull this? <laughs> um, <laughs> Up the hill. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm ready, ready to rock and roll, roll, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Woo! <laughs> Just have to sort of lean into it. <laughs> I can't move it. I'm not kidding. <laughs> And if you get into my tracks as soon as you can, Ian. Okay. I'm getting a workout as well. I'm on the cross trainer. This is what I was using all the time at home. Let's rock, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
have to lean as much as you can into it. Right. That's it, and then just push hard with your feet. With my feet? Right. That's it. Well done. I can't ski yet, I'm just walking. Oh. Point the toe, you should be able to ski. That is tough. Yeah, go mate. Presumably we can't fall over. I'm really up for this challenge, but the temperature out here is stifling. <laughs> I need a drink of water, I really do. Crying out loud. And the other thing is, I haven't put any cream on the back of my neck. So why didn't you put some water where you could just like get it quick? Well, but it was not a race, as long as we get to where we're going. Uh... Missy, you're going to have to hurry up, because standing around like this is making my legs get weaker. OK. Uh, well, can you just wait till I get the water? Of course I can. And then, will you lot not just rush ahead and just stay at my pace? No, we can't. You can't he can't go any slower than he's going. He's, he's making the tracks. Well, no, you then. No, I'm not good. No, I'm staying up with Nigel. Well, that's not much of a friend, is it? Yes, it is. Look at this unbelievable setting I've brought you to. <laughs> but you can't leave me behind. Mrs C, you're in the tracks. I'm not leaving you behind. I'd never right. leave you behind. OK, thank you. I'm just so up. Have you got that sun cream to hand? Because No, I haven't. Look, look. You know, I haven't, you know. My mold, I'm in that I'm in that mode, I'm in game mode. You gotta like, you know, yep. come to the party, man. You got an invitation and you seem like you wanna stay outside. No, no. Come no, inside, I'm... man. It's all right for you. you. It doesn't matter if you haven't got sun cream on your neck, it matters to me because Why doesn't it? Because my skin's black, yeah, I don't need my skin to burn. burn. It, it will still burn, but it won't burn as much as mine will burn. So we're having a racist argument now. <laughs> no, but I'm saying I need sun cream on Mrs. my C, neck. Whatever you need to do, do I'm it quick it and, and let's go. Because we're just again. standing here in the middle of nowhere in the right. sun. I'm totally ready, man. I wasn't ready for Mrs. C's major box, though, I've got to say. But I'm ready for this incline. He's done um, just over two kilometres. <laughs> Is that all? From the camp. I feel like I've done 25 miles. A marathon. I think that's the nearest I'll get to torture. Don't you miss home at all? I can't miss home. What do you mean you can't miss Because I know my home's there and everybody's there and they're all safe and everything's brilliant, you know? This is a completely different vibe, isn't it? That's a good way of looking at it. You just cannot... Look over there. Every time you stop so far, you, you start... The first thing you say is negative. Oh, it's not fair, and It's not... What is negative about what I've said? About being wanting to be home and all I that stuff. I didn't say I want to Talking be at home. Talking about golf and think everything away from well, this. Well, you've got to think about all of that because otherwise you can't concentrate on what you're doing. What a load of crap. We finally settle into a rhythm and try to make as much headway as possible the first day. As the day drags on, so do the pulps. And I'm starting to think to myself, what the hell have I got myself into? That's six o'clock. Obviously, we need to get the tents up, get the stove on. We do need to drink a lot tonight because yeah. we've lost a lot of fluid today. Oh, not wrong. Woo! Travelled a good distance there, probably a good 6k. So, uh, for the first day out, that's uh, very good. Where are we going to put the tents and things? If you put them that side of the ski tracks there. That side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just right next to your pole, so. Oh. We've only been going for one day and it's a disaster. Mrs. C is suffering from sunstroke, dehydration and exhaustion. I quickly boil as much snow as possible because she needs as much water as she can get. People tend to go through, I suppose you can equivalent to going through the wall when, uh, when you do a marathon. It's always the same at the start of a trip. The pulks are going to be really heavy because we've got food to last us for, you know, for a good 10 days considering that neither of them had ever poked before. Um, and it's, it is very physical. 
obviously it's our first time doing something like this. So in respects of our water and um, um, hats and stuff like that, and, and that we wasn't really quite ready. So uh, I think we suffered. Mrs. C sleeps through the 24 hour sunlight and freezing temperatures. But I lay awake all night worried, because after all, she's doing this for me, feeling pretty guilty about it. I managed to sleep for a couple of hours, and by breakfast, Mrs. C proves how much of a winner she really is. I'm feeling good actually this morning. Yep. My... Of course she is, because Benson's been doing everything for her all night. <laughs> I, I think uh, what I was worried about is this is so tough. Pulling that park behind us is, uh, unless anybody's ever done it, I don't think they could imagine how tough it is. And I asked Nigel, who is obviously an expert, um, whether he felt he found it tough, and he said yes. So that was quite reassuring because I thought I was—I mean, I didn't want, I was hoping I wasn't just a complete and utter dead loss and a whim. I take half of Mrs. C's polk and ask Nigel if I can make the tracks. We're looking at doing about 10k today. Okay. All right, so we need to uh, keep sort of marching on, really. And you do this for fun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do it for a living. I should have taken more notice at school. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is a bit different from playing football. We stop every couple of hours, tucking into tins of tuna and guzzling water. Covering ourselves with hats and sunblock, let me tell you, Mrs. C is much tougher than she looks. Have you heard of uh, Lance Armstrong, Novella? God, yeah. That, the guy, um, he, the cyclist. Yeah. Yeah. He's, one of his, uh, one of his most favourite sayings is that uh, the pain will go away, but giving up will stay with you forever. God, that is brilliant. Ian, did you hear that? Yeah, Paula Ratcliffe. No, not <laughs> that's not nice. That's it's not horrible. nice, but it's true. If she can live with it, yeah. that's her problem. Yeah, I think, but it's just like people when they're ill and they just stay in bed. I mean, it's... You've got to get on with things, haven't you? Yeah. Something to be done, you've got to do it. At this point, I asked Nigel to take the reins back after doing 12 kilometers. When you're at the front, you realize how hard it is making those tracks for everyone else. I'm going to fall over, whoa, 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 whoa horsey. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fatigue. <laughs> I, got, I can't, I, got, I can't. I need five minutes, I can't think. Do you want some water? No, no, no. Yeah, can you pull forward just two inches, five inches, thanks. For my skis were. Oh, God. Wait, Ian, get a breather. It's, if I stop, Mrs. C, it's like giving up, isn't it? No, it's not, it's ridiculous. I'm so gone, Mrs. C, I'm gone. Well, we've got, we've got this last hour, and then I look after you tonight like you looked after me last night. Oh, man. My feet are blistered and my knees and back are killing me. Today it was definitely a role reversal. Um, Ian was struggling, especially the last sort of uh, couple of hours. And just when you think it can't get any worse, Nigel then comes up and tells me something I do not want to hear. That tomorrow is going to be uphill all the way. Um, I've never done something so... onerous. It's just so hard. I just, I just feel so weak. I just, you know, I could just, I can't even get positive at the moment. But um, I just needed to speak to somebody. I, I don't want no one to know how negative I am until they actually see this. But I, I just, I just don't know if I'm able to make it. I'm Ian Wright. And I'm in Greenland with my best mate, Novella Nodes, to try and climb Gunnbjornsfeld, the highest mountain in the Arctic. <laughs> Everybody at home, just 
just digging a hole for a shit. <laughs> it's only day three and our list of injuries read like an A&E waiting list. My lips are feeling really swollen and sore because they've got the sun as well. It's, 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 woo. <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous. It's totally incongruous because we're out here in freezing conditions, snow everywhere, and I get sunburned. Nigel, our guide, is dying to get back to the grind, but I'm in no hurry. You know the thing is, I just can't, I can't eat no more porridge. <laughs> I, I was going to have chicken curry this morning. I took one taste of it and I had to throw it away, but I don't want to tell Nigel that because that is like, I know it was, yeah, but I threw it around. Uh, because Nigel wouldn't dream of somebody throwing away that much food. We've got one more big day, uh, pulling the pokes and then a shore today. And then after that, hopefully, if the weather stays as it is, we'll be able to go for the summit. We're going to turn out of the valley and head uphill for 20 kilometres toward the base camp of the mountain. I was actually feeling quite young until I started this. My knee's killing me and my lower back, but I've taken some painkillers, so trying to ignore the pain. Trying to ignore the pain, no pain, like Rocky IV. Is it uphill all the way now? That's going to be fucking hard. I don't want to ever do this in my life again. Ah, 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 fucking hell, fuck me, Jesus Christ, somebody help me, please, somebody give me some respite, let me fall into a crevice, anything, mother nature, you are one bitch. Oh God, no, Nigel, I can't carry on. I can't, I can't, Nigel, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. That's, not, that's ridiculous, of course you can do it. It is definitely the most onerous thing you or I have ever done, I think. But we can do it. Jesus Christ. We can do it. You see where we can see the tracks just up to our about 300 meters up there, whatever it is. Is there a straight there? I've got to have something to look forward to. Do not give in to the dark side of the force! <laughs> Come on now! Uh. That's it, we can stop. Jesus! Hold on. Uh. You seem to be breathing a bit there, Ian. Yeah. I'm thinking about this thing in my foot. I'm just fucking, just fucking fucked off. Hope you don't use this. Fucking bit of fucking film! Oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh God, I can't see. But he's killing me. Yeah. Thanks. I've got a plaster on. It's really a slog, man. Oh, my back is soaking, soaking. I'm absolutely ringing. I can't even get my breath. I don't know how we're carrying on going. We got to, we got to. I just needed to stop. All you've got to think is every step we're getting nearer to the end. <laughs> 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 no, that's made me cry. That. <laughs> I can't see the end. I can't see the end of this. I cannot. I've never ever done anything this hard in my life. Are you deaf or something, Nigel? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> A 
At three o'clock in the afternoon, the temperature is something like 90. My knee's killing me, my back's killing me. I'm sweating. I feel dizzy. I just feel like I cannot go on. Let's see, we've got to get some water. Hmm? We've got to get some water. Oh, Jesus. As you see, I'm sorry I made you have to come on this. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have seen all this, otherwise would I, so. I'm really sorry. It's worth, it'd be worth the hardship. We'd forget the pain. Never forget the pain. We were about one kilometre to go. Nigel, your voice is mellow and lovely, but it's not saying what I want to fucking hear. <laughs> <laughs> Just up here, we find. Brilliant, mate. Well done. Just get your skis off there. Thanks. Yeah. Well done. We're here. Have a bit of a breather, get a bit of a drink, and then uh, when you feel up to Thank it, you. get your tent up and get your brooks, get your stove on. Bloody hell, no. I up here all day, man. That's asking a lot, that was. You've done well. We're there. Well done, you too. Well done really well. I've got nothing left. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. I never thought we were going to get here. Wow. Easy. Collapsing today has shaken me to the core. I feel demoralised. Nigel was right. This place has really come up and bitten us both. There's not many women who would be able to take something like this on. Her heart just must have covers the whole of her chest. She's just like so, she's, she's brilliant in my eyes. For her to just, she was step for step behind me on that hill today, keeping me going. She was keeping me going today. When you get an injury in football, everyone pampers you. This morning, I've got no one. And Mrs C has got her own problems to deal with. It's just foolishness. I should have kept my sunglasses on all the time. And um, I've had bloodshot eyes for the last couple of days, but this morning, one of my eyes was really bad, very swollen and, and watering non-stop. And that is, that is um, a symptom. The symptoms I've got are sun, the sunburn of the eye symptoms. By the time we're ready to go, you know what I mean? I should hopefully have enough um, icing and tablets to just ease the pain. So close, <laughs> silly to stop him, but how can you stop on that? But I just don't want to give up, you know. Now I know Nigel's a dark horse, but this morning he surpasses himself. See that peak yeah. over there? Yeah. Yeah, that's Gumbionsfeld. Is it? Wow! Why didn't you tell us that yesterday? We're what? here! Oh! Ah! Ah! It's... <laughs> that's it there! That's it there! Oh my god! <laughs> that is brilliant! That... I was so pleased 
don't have to look at that no more. Carl, oh, that's nice. That's <laughs> really quite cruel of you. <laughs> Can I give you a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> He's crying. He's only kidding. <laughs> no, that's it there. That's it there, boy. Uh, that's yeah, it yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. He then springs another surprise. The sun is melting the ice and opening up crevices all over the place. The route up the mountain is littered with them. Nigel makes a snap decision. He thinks we shouldn't take another step unless we know exactly how to climb out of the crevice if we fall in. If I had time to think about this, I'd be back in the tent. Because this is the most terrifying place I've ever seen. OK, if you want to stop there, that's great. Stop Ian. Get that over. Yep. All right. And then we've got the cross belay there. Nigel buries a simple set of skis as an anchor. He reckons they'll be strong enough to save us from the drop below. Yep. We'll run that one down. I'm not convinced. One here. We'll can just move over that way. Ah, I'm bollocks. Now, what you want to do now, Ian, is turn around and hold on to the rope in front of you. Oh, oh my God! Whoa. 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 Oh. Oh. If I'd fallen down a crevasse for real, my safety rope would have saved my life. But a second winch is needed to get me out of here. Oh, jeez! It's so deep! You got it there? Let's pray this doesn't happen on the summit. I got it! Vass has seriously scared us both about going up Gunsbjörnsfeld. Wow. Oh my god! And now I'm wondering if either of us can climb it. The soaring temperature has made it a graveyard en route to the summit. To give us a fighting chance, Nigel decides that we leave at night when the ice is hard. What am I doing? You're doing me. Doing you? Right, okay. <laughs> Wasn't it? <No. laughs> it was well, Lee, look, at, just, look at how swollen it is. Oh. You see it? You see it there? Yeah, yeah, you can see actually. Right? Yeah. And my ankle. Can you see my ankle? <laughs> is that what I'm with your ankle? No, that's, look, that's the. Um, oh, that's, what, that's the, the blisters. That's what so that's skin. without, that's not yeah. just the. the look, look and at the aching. Size of it. Look can at you the see size. Yeah, yeah, you can see the size. We spend the next eight hours talking about whether we can do this. And suddenly, it's nine o'clock at night. I don't want to not get this far and not make it. <laughs> so you've got to be nervous because, you know, there's something at stake. We've been waiting all day. We're uh, raring to go, actually. We're uh, quite excited. Yeah, I, I want to be able to look in the mirror and say that, you know, because if, if I don't... <laughs> <We're never laughs> yeah, I want to be able to look in the mirror and not say that I didn't make it up here. <laughs> Why don't you shut up, you? <laughs> <laughs> we stuff our pockets with sweets, chocolates and plenty of water. Apart from a safety rope, all we need is our ice axes and crampons. It just looks so menacing. You know, it's like it's like a death sentence hanging over you. Just every time you look over, they just see this colossus mountain just looking over, just waiting to absolutely murder you. The plan is to try and make it to the summit and back overnight in one stint, lasting 20 hours. Up to the shoulder first, 
along the ridge and then attempt the summit. Well guys, we've done uh, just over two kilometers in the first, first hour, which is good. So we're, uh, we're on track. We've got to power yourself up this hill. You know, you got to make the hill know that you're not scared. The other day I didn't know. But when you're sleeping in a tent and you open the back and you see it laughing at you every morning for the last two days, saying, saying climb me if you dare, then you know that's a challenge in my book. And if I'm going to be totally honest, I'm pissing it. And I'm gonna, because it really caught me the other day, unaware and off guard. So I've got to really batter it into submission to show that I'm gonna win round two. When you think of what we're walking over, it's frightening. Mrs. C is quiet for a reason. She's terrified. Have you seen the big crevasses on the left? Did you see that hole? Look at that one too. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, it completely whoa, 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 baby. I just saw a hole. Nigel. Yeah? I just saw a really deep hole. Yeah. Come on, baby, light my fire. I wasn't ready for the last steal, but I'm ready for this bastard. If I were to say to you I can't believe he's singing I can't even walk <laughs> My back is killing me Well, you know, keeps the spirits up I, I was just imagining I was in the shower I was singing in the shower because I can't remember the last time I was in the shower So I was just singing a couple of my favourites I'm taking requests, so I tell you, the last time I felt as nervous as coming up as I did today was when we played Italy in Rome and we drew nil-nil. I ate the post, I've gutted. I still dream about I'm it. So and every time I think I'm gonna score, and I ate the fucking post. That could have been my moment, it was my finest hour. Gutted. I can't do it now. I've run out of now, nah, I've run out of steam. You know, I've spent much of my life winning. Oh god. The losing. Oh god. Is always a thing that stays with you. <coughs> oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh. Oh Jesus. If I could have oh. any wish in the world right now. I wouldn't be here. Jesus Christ. It's four o'clock in the morning and we get to the shoulder of the hardest seven hours I've ever done in my whole life. That's too hard, Nigel. It's alright, mate. We've done well. You've done good. It's four o'clock in the morning. It's minus ten. And my dream of trying to climb the highest mountain in the Arctic has turned into pure torture. This is stupid.
madness. Oh yeah. Oh god. The whole of my body is wracked with pain. Mrs. C is delirious and we're still a thousand meters from the summit. Come round here a bit more. Oh god. We're gonna stop by these rocks for a drink. Which rocks? These ones up here. I can't get into this snow. Sorry? Oh, I can't fucking move. You said it was fucking easy up here. No, it's just fucking harder. How the fuck are you meant to stand up in this? Where are we going to sit, man? Uh, it's anywhere just down here, we'll be fine. Where are we meant to go? Just, sit just going to sit down on there for a while, have a bit of a breather. Have you got any water, Nigel? Fucking ridiculous that is. <sighs> Fuck me, Nigel, you're a fucking sadist. <laughs> Ian, do you want some drink? Nope. I've got some just here. Okay. You're very silly, Ian, you should drink a little. I just want to get up there and I want to get back down. I want to go to sleep. I've had enough for today. I don't know what I've done to deserve this. I've never been so tired in my life. Do you think we'll make it? I swear to God this place wants to beat me. Jesus, please help me. Nigel, why don't you just tell us the truth? I said to you, is it steep up there? And you said, no, it's not steep when you get there. Ian, it's not actually. You ain't, you ain't Nigel. Nigel's the one who doesn't tell the truth. What was that, Ian? How come you said it wasn't as steep when we get up here? It's... Well, <laughs> it's all relative, really. In a way, Ian, it's easier when it's steep. But well, why do we keep stopping look, look, then? Ian, Ian, look, stand up and put these things round this way, look. Look, Ian, put them round this no, way. No, I can't do it that way, my ankle hurts. This is the only way I could do it where my ankle don't hurt. <laughs> I don't know why I still have to be on the rope. Oh, oh, you've got to be on the rope because if you fall, you die. So why don't you go quicker then? Around halfway. It's pretty clear that this is beyond us both. How steep is that? The way up now is for Nigel to physically pull us up there.
of that. We're doing great. Oh, soft. Glass push. Soft slogan. You're digging into the wire. Eh? You're digging into the wire. If you cut it now, I'm all the way down the bottom. Go on then. Oh God, hold on. How much fucking further? Okay, you can stop there if you want. You just stop there, Ian. What's happening? I'm going to move off again. We'll do the same again. Shall oh, I just take that you. snow steak off you? <laughs> Too weak. Uh. Now. When you're ready then, the villa. What do I have to do? Just walk, really. <sighs> just need to just walk. I can't fucking, I can't muster. <sighs> That's it, good. When your very soul's ripped apart and only your spirit is left, it's very easy to roll over and die. In the end, it's always your choice. Come on, Mrs. C, come on. Yeah. Come on, push. Yeah, yeah. Last yeah. push, come on, last push with five. I'm trying. No, you're not. Get your legs into the cell. You're not pushing your snow, your low toes into the snow. That's it. That's it. That's it. Push. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. We said we'd do it. What's up there? That's that's the summit there. So we've got this little ridge here, and then it just undulates to the top. That's it there. That's what you're going for. I can hear the fat lady clearing her throat. That's it, Ian. You keep coming through in the velo. Just keep following your nose. Come, Mr. C. Is that it there? Yes, mate. Come on, we'll go on the summit together. Okay. Oh, oh, Look at that. Oh. That sounds good. <laughs> well done, guys. There's no more up. Only down. Come over here. I'm going to near the edge. See, we did it. I can't believe we did it. I'm gonna lie down now. 